go back over verse 5 and let me know. Wherefore, when he cometh into the world, who is he, y'all? Jesus. Everybody say Jesus. Jesus. When Jesus came into the world, y'all, he, he said, sacrifice and offerings that would not. In other words, you don't want any more sacrifices of bulls and, and goats and all that. Right. And he says, but a body yes. hast thou prepared me. Uh -huh. right? I want I want to talk, amen, from the subject again, fitted to fulfill purpose. Uh -huh. Amen. Just tell somebody on, say, neighbor, you've been fitted amen. to fulfill amen. your purpose. Be seated. Give me 15 minutes. You've been fitted to fulfill purpose. Bless you. Amen. Uh, so we could edit. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, is that my phone? Bring it here. Uh, let, let me say this to all of us uh, really quickly. Uh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, all of us in this room uh, have, have, we have purpose on our lives. Somebody say amen. Amen. Y'all stay with me here. All of us in this room, but Kevin, God has, God has ordained some things for us. And God has, before the foundation of the world, God has designed some things uh -huh, for us to go through in order to reach our uh -huh, divine destination. Somebody right. say amen. Amen. Just want to make sure y'all here. So, but, 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 but with the things that God has designed or created for us, Brother Philip, we don't necessarily understand why it is that God has chosen us uh -huh, to fulfill this purpose. All we, right. we have, Sister Tracy, we have no control over, amen, the things that God has designed for us. If we had control, y'all, maybe some of us in this room who don't know our fathers or who, have, who don't have a relationship with our mothers could have said, I, I would have came through somebody else. Lord, I, I want this mother or I want that father, but you have no, amen, control over the, the, the transportation or the vacuum that God allowed, amen, you to come in this earth through, and so you have no control over the destiny or, or, or the design purpose over your life. Uh -huh. The only thing that you can do, Brother Eddie, with that purpose is either reject or submit. All right. Now, now ladies, I thought y'all, amen, may yeah. look, smile at me, but the word submit to some of y'all sound like a curse word. The word submit uh -huh. is not, it's not a curse word, baby. Submit means to make your mission second to someone yeah. else. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Uh, submit, amen, did not even show up until after the fall of Adam and Eve. Right. Right. Uh, uh -huh. God told them, don't touch this tree, Charles. They did it, and so yeah. now, here comes the word submit. Now, all of you English majors in the building, you know what the word submit, S-U-B, means second. Uh -huh. So now, uh, it, it's opposite of the word, or right behind the word primary. Primary meaning first. So now, when you submit yourself to something or somebody, it means uh -huh, you put what you desire to do on the back burner, and you rather buy. Uh -huh, yes, to someone greater than you. Amen. I can't find church now. Uh, but here's the problem, Sister Be Bear Clarkson, is that, y'all, uh, because we don't have anything to do, hope I'm not losing y'all, uh, with the purpose of God in our life, amen, some of the things that God has designed for us don't make us feel good. Oh, uh, God, some of the things that God, amen, has on your schedule to go through, you don't feel some of the things that God has on your itinerary, Places you got the pain avenue and trouble boulevard, which has no help again now. Lonely with freeway. God, God has places on your schedule that if you look at it, you don't uh, you, you don't look forward to it. And so by you not looking forward to it, you try to back out of it as if your backing out is gonna change God's mind. But let me bless five educated people by telling you, baby, you can you can do it the hard way or the easy way. All right, all right. I don't have a church in here. Come on. Uh, people are looking like Pastor Butler. This ain't the sermon I want to hear today. I want you to shout me. But let me bless you real quick, baby. The Bible says in Proverbs, the 13th chapter, verse 15, it says the way of a transgressor it's is hard. Yes, uh, but a man of understanding finds favor. Let me bless y'all real quick. A lot of us sitting in this room right now, we've been complaining since last year about how hard things are in our lives. And it's crazy because instead of us taking a look at ourselves, we're pointing outside to ask them why we're struggling like we are. But the fact of the matter is, baby, some stuff you're going through, I, let, let me mess up. Most stuff you, okay, I got to mess up one more time. Everything you're going through uh -huh, has nothing to do with somebody else. But the main culprit and divine suspect is yourself.
yourself. A lot of us got to take Michael Jackson's advice when he says, don't start outside the house, but start with the man.